Hi, in this video we're going to be pulling apart a blazing whole tone run from the incredible Wayne Krantz. It's from a tune called Whippersnapper from his live album Two Drink Minimum. So let me play it a couple of times and then we'll pull it apart. So this line is over a vamp in D. It's kind of D minor, D7. He's probably thinking D7. And it's pretty much entirely based around D whole tone scale. So it starts off with the kind of descending arpeggio idea, which he then echoes later in the solo. So it comes down, D augmented arpeggio. But he starts a whole step above the D note, pulling off. And also it starts on the second sixteenth, so it'd be three, four, one. So this idea, he then goes to the B flat and slides this down a whole step. And comes down an A flat augmented arpeggio. Then he continues the idea, but staying in this A flat augmented arpeggio. So starting a whole step above the E this time, on the F sharp and pulling off. And coming down, again, the A flat augmented arpeggio. And then pulling off the F sharp. It's a nice idea, this um, coming down an arpeggio, but starting from a whole step above each of the chord tones. It's a cool idea, I mean, you could try it on a D minor straight D minor arpeggio. So starting a whole step above each of the chord tones in turn and then coming down three notes, the three note triad arpeggio. So you get this sort of sound. It's a cool idea and that's the principle of what he's doing with this opening phrase. So following this opening section, then he goes back to A flat augmented arpeggio. She kind of goes up, and then slides down a whole step and comes back down a G flat augmented arpeggio. So it's kind of reversing what he did before, up a whole step, down a whole step. Then uh, goes up to the C. Chromatic passing note down to the B flat. So this little then switches to D. So it goes up a major third D and then up straight up whole tone. So for the next part of the run. Starting from E, goes up whole tone with a passing note, so straight up the whole tone scale from E up to G sharp, but with a G chromatic passing note. Then shifts up a major third, then comes down chromatically in major thirds. So down from the B flat, then skips up a major third, comes straight down whole tone. And from here, he goes into the same idea we had at the start, although this time it's more on the B. It starts on the final sixteenth. Three, four. So he's coming down from the B flat, straight down into an A flat augmented arpeggio again. Again, same idea, he's just starting a whole step above each of the chord tones, pulling off and going down the arpeggio. And pulling off a whole 
step down to the D. Again, echoing the idea he finished off the first section in earlier. And again, into this sort of major thirds descending idea. And then ends in kind of D Dorian, D Mixlidian. It's a nice little motif, which he then sort of continues. The solo continues on. So let me piece all of that together slowly. So let's try all of that uh, like half speed with the track and then we'll try again a couple of times up to speed. <laughs> 